Well, today, um, late February, I'm back in the countryside here at, uh, I think, uh, I forget the name, but um, it's a think of uh, Jaime Marin, who is a coffee producer for um, Level Ground, um, the San Miguel brand. And uh, it's really fascinating to see his small farm here. Um, it's about five hectares. Um, he said he has about 5,000 coffee bushes. And uh, not just that, he grows uh, tomatoes, bananas, um, cane sugar for panela, and uh, maize, maize. And he's got animals too, horses. For uh, he's, he's kind of a tour guide, uh, a bit of a sideline. And, something he'd definitely like to do more of, um, but also chickens and goats and everything's organic here except the tomatoes. And uh, he's the only local producer here that is, or that has organic coffee, and the only one who's actually supplies level ground from here with this Colombian. So I thought there was a network of producers, but uh, he says he's the only one, at least in this part. So. It's fascinating. I mean, that's fair trade. When you take it down to the individual level, then you kind of see what impact it can have. He said uh, his daughter has been able to spend some time in Canada learning English because of the relationship with Level Ground. Um, and it's really helped him over the last few years, just with kids' education and having a better income and a better standard of living. So on an individual level, it's really helped, and um, of course, it's scaling that up. <laughs> that's that's always the issue. You want to help more than one family, one group, one community. You want to do more. Um, and so, when I was at Cooperativa Andes in the village of Hardin uh, yesterday, it's it's a big cooperative, 4,000 producers, and Jaime is only it's a tiny little part. Of it, and it's literally where uh, where he goes to store his coffee. Um, everything else is done here. He does the depulping and the washing and the drying of the coffee. Uh, we've seen everything else here, and um, set amongst absolutely stunning scenery. Some of the nicest I've seen. And uh, he have his horses there, and this is the casa of the finca. Um, there are beds and things in the kitchen, but he doesn't live here. And um, what else? Yeah, his little drying roof is actually underneath the roof of that thing, and it slides off. It's pretty cool uh, when I saw that. So, yeah, just a quick overview, really, of uh, I'm in the face of Colombian coffee for level ground. And it's been great to meet him. Now, when I go back to Canada, you know, I feel like I have a relationship now with 